It is, of all the mines I've been to, among my absolute favorite. I love, love, love coming out here because they have really cool equipment doing really cool stuff. Welcome everybody to the 2023 BuildWit Roadshow. 34 days, 11,000 miles, 27 US states, and three jabronis. Myself, Angel, and Jack. We did it all while living in a rented RV. Now why the heck did we do this? We did it to give everybody a glimpse of how impactful the dirt world is on daily life and to highlight the hardworking people within the industry. So buckle up, because you're coming with us. Driving through Mississippi State as we speak. Go Bullfrogs. Last night, the most interesting thing that happened was uh, we made some new new friends, some new neighbors moved into the RV, about a million ants. We've been inv invaded by ants. I tried plugging the hole, it did not work. What the? Let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. Billet Roadshow, day two. We drove from Atlanta, Georgia to Starkville, Mississippi. We're outside of Ackerman, Mississippi at the Red Hills Mine run by North American Coal, which is run by NACO. We have worked with NACO for a long time, North American Coal for a long time, a few years now. I've been out to this mine a few times. That is their drag line. It is finishing up this cut here before it's gonna walk for about a week to the next mining area, which is a really big deal. It has about one more month digging here to get all the little last bits of coal, and then they're gonna walk it on out of here. You can see uh, right down this hall road we're, we're standing on right now, or I guess access road. That's the power cable leading to that machine. It's quiet because it runs off of electric power from the power plant that they're feeding with coal. These trucks right here are unique. They're hauling coal, which is a light material, much lighter than rock or dirt. The material those trucks are rated to carry. A truck's capacity is limited by weight, not typically by the size, the volume. So because coal is lighter than dirt rock, they can put a much bigger body on the back of it to carry a much bigger volume of coal that equals roughly the same weight as a smaller volume of dirt and rock so they can bring more coal to the plant without burning as much fuel efficiency as everything. This right here is Mississippi lignite, coal. Mr. Speaker, this is coal. Don't be afraid, the don't treasurer. be scared. Essentially, it is organic material that's been compressed under the earth for millions of years and is very high in energy content. Now this mine has multiple seams, six seams in total. Right now, the 6040 behind me is mining the D seam. D. It's the ladder of the day. So they remove the first layer of overburden, they mine the seam, remove the next layer of overburden, mine the seam, and they go down until they reach that bottom seam all the way across this entire area. left mine area one where the drag line was at. We drove through all of the beautiful reclamation. Then we came under the highway and over into mine area three. That right there is the PH 2800. The last time I saw that machine was 
where almost exactly where that 6040 was digging coal. That's the last time I saw it stripping. They walked it all the way over here, and this is the very first box cut of this new mine area. They ran out of room over there, so now this is the next part of the mine, and they're going to be advancing it that way. A month from now, that drag line will be coming over here, now that they've opened this up substantially, and the drag line will move a bulk of the overburden. That shovel will go up top to, to do the pre-strip for the drag line, and then here we are standing on the coal that will be mined and brought up to the plant. The fun fact about that shovel, because we're in Mississippi, when it rains, it gets very soft. The undercarriage on that shovel is actually a 4100 undercarriage, which is the bigger shovel. It's Big Brother. So that's the littler P&H with the big undercarriage, the only one I've seen like that before. What follows is a brief mining montage. Okay, done with Red Hills, thanks to North American Coal. Here is our home for the night. Outside of Starkville, Mississippi, we're about a mile from Mississippi State, in between a substation and a cell tower. Probably not good for us, but here we are. It's comfortable, we have power. We're all done, see you tomorrow. Stay dirty. <laughs>